Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and yes, welcome to another top 10 tweaks video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but this one's going to be a little bit unique as these are literally the first 10 tweaks in which I installed into my device after I re-jailbroke from iOS 8 beta back to 7.1.2. If you guys want to see how to jailbreak, there will be a video link down in the description and I'm not going to waste any of your time. Let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So the first tweak I got for you guys is called Winterboard. Yes, I know that this has been around for a while, but this is a core jailbreak tweak. It allows you to theme your device from the icons to the user interface and everything in between. So uh, as you guys can see, the theme that I'm currently using is called Iris. Uh, it's just one of my favorite themes for iOS 7. And stay tuned in because I will be doing a bunch of top 10 theme videos as there are just tons and tons of themes found with Insidia and again the way you, you enable those themes is using Winterboard. Next up we got the Swiss Army Knife of Tweaks. It is Spring Tomize 3. Now uh, this is literally like 20 to 25 different tweaks all rolled into one and it's just a must have on a jailbroken device. Uh, so as you can see here are all the different sections in which you, which you can uh, customize your device from animations to the app slider to control center to dock to folders, icons, and so on and so forth. Now within each one of these sections, there's just a ton of different options you can do with that, you know, like the dock here. You can hide the dock, you can hide the background, you can resize the docked icons, you can, you know, change how many uh, icons are on the dock, you can hide the labels. Uh, there's just a ton of different stuff, like I said, you can do. Uh, with Spring to My Street, and it's really a must-have on a jailbroken device, as this will literally replace probably 20 to 25 of your tweaks, all rolled into just this one. Again, that's called Spring to My Three. Now, the next tweak I got for you guys is actually a rather simple tweak, and it just allows you to hide a bunch of different elements on your device. As you guys can see, I have all of my icon labels hidden, and also uh, my do docked icon labels hidden as well. Uh, now this is probably the best way I've found to hide the labels. It is free and it's called Hide Me 7. And in my opinion, it just looks better having your device not having those icon labels because it's much more of a clean look. You can see the wallpaper better and it's just more simple looking. So again, like I said, the tweak is called Hide Me 7. This is the light version or the free version. And I might make a separate video on this just because I couldn't really find any videos on YouTube that you know uh, showed how to hide those, those labels. So this is what I used. Now Hide Me 7 allows you to hide a whole bunch of you know other elements besides just the icon labels. So if we go to the lock screen, as you guys can see, you can hide the camera grabber, the control center grabber, you can hide the date, uh, notification center grabber, you can uh, also hide the percentage there. You got the springboard. Uh, as you can see, I have the icon labels hidden, and I also have the page dots hidden. Uh, so this is just a really simple tweak, which allows you to hide, like I said, a bunch of different elements. Again, that's called Hide Me 7, and it is the free version. Next up is Dock Shift. Now, this has no functionality really whatsoever. It just allows you to change the way your dock looks. Now, in my opinion, the iOS 7 stock dock is kind of too opaque it's uh, too noticeable you can't really see the you know the wallpaper through it yes it kind of you know is colorized to the wallpaper but it's just too noticeable in my opinion uh, and I used dock shift to change the dock so if we go into dock shift here uh, there's a few other options that you can you know use dock shift for but I mainly like the uh, styles here so as you guys can see I'm using the uh, milk glass clear style for my dock and there's a bunch of other different styles you can choose uh, there's even dark milk class, which is more of like a black kind of gray dock, which does look really good with certain wallpapers. Uh, this is just my preference. I like using the milk glass clear, but uh, you guys can, you know, download this and play around with it and see what dock you like. Again, that is called dock shift. Next up, we have the barrel killer. This tweak is called cylinder and all it is is animated page scrolling effects. Uh, as you guys can see, as I change pages here. There is a nice animation and this is just another really cool way to quickly customize your device to give it a different kind of look and feel. Now the neat thing about Cylinder is that it has, you know, just a ton of different animations to choose from. That's why this is such a better uh, tweak than Barrel. Barrel is also paid and this is free. So as you guys can see, there is just a ton of different animations in which you can choose from. Uh, so another neat thing about Cylinder is you can actually combine these animations to make your own custom animations. So if we enable that uh, animation as well, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty crazy looking, but uh, you can combine, you know, certain animations that will make it look, 
you know, really quite cool. So if, it, if we do snake, let's see what happens now with uh, the two. Yeah, it's pretty crazy looking, but uh, let's just enable um, just one at a time so you guys can get an idea of what the different animations look like. So there's explosion, basically just explodes your icons to the next page, which is really cool looking. And like I said, you can combine, uh, you know, more than one, uh, you know, animation. And the neat thing is you can actually save those formulas as your own custom animations. A really cool tweak. Again, that's called a cylinder. So I'm sure you guys have noticed that I do have a different font installed on my device, and that is from the tweak Byte Font 2. Uh, it's just another really cool, simple, quick way to customize your device, uh, change the font, you know, system-wide. It really gives your device a different look and feel just by simply switching the font. Now, the cool thing about Byte Font 2 is it is free, and also all of the hundreds of fonts found within Cydia are free as well. So if we go ahead and quickly open up the application here, as you can see, uh, here's basically just the fonts you can choose from um, in which you download. So I'm using the China Cat font. I've also downloaded uh, Cormac Sans or Carmic Sans. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it, but uh, any font you download will go to this section here and you can quickly just change it. You also do have an advanced section uh, where you can, you know, use the certain font just for certain spots. Like if you wanted uh, you know, uh, a certain font for just your keyboard, you can do that, which is really cool. Again, this is called Byte Font 2. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Byte SMS. Now, this is a great messages replacement tweak from Cydia. Uh, it has a load of options uh, in ways that you can customize your messages. Uh, the main thing that I use Byte SMS for is the quick reply feature, kind of like the quick reply feature found within iOS 8. Well, uh, you know, us being jailbroken, we've had that quick reply feature for quite some time now, and that's mainly what I use Byte SMS for. Now you can set up many different activation met methods to, you know, activate the quick reply and quick compose. I'll just do the generic volume HUD tap right there, as you guys can see. And as you can see, I can quickly compose a message to whoever I want and send it off without leaving my springboard or application. And you can even do it from your lock screen. And it, whenever somebody, uh, you know, messages you, you can, you know, quickly reply wherever you are in your device, including the lock screen. So uh, another must have tweak again, that's called Byte SMS. Next up, we have no slow animations. Now, one thing that has always annoyed me with iOS 7 is the animation speeds. I, I always felt they're a little bit too slow. Um, and it just kind of slowed you down overall when you're using your device. So this tweak is incredibly simple. We'll go, at, go ahead and go into the settings here, and then I'll go into no slow animations right there, as you guys can see. Uh, this is a free tweak, and like I said, it's incredibly simple. There's just an on-off switch, and then you can change the speed just using that slider right there. And as you guys notice, when I exit the app, if I can do it without double-pressing my home button, when I exit the app like that and open it back up, it's much faster than you know the normal animation speed and I really do like this tweak again that's called no slow animations next up we have another incredibly useful tweak it's called CC toggles now uh, normally when you open up control center I know that this looks a little bit different uh, but I'll get into that tweak in a minute but uh, you, this tweak CC toggles allows you to change the toggles found within your control center as you guys can see at the top there I do have a respring toggle now I have the toggles rearranged and you can also have multiple pages of different toggles you know that will allow you to turn on or off uh, different stuff so it's a really nice tweak allowing you to customize that and you can change you know how many toggles are per page so I have it set up as five right now which is default you can also have it as six or like four or three whatever you choose within the settings another cool thing is the quick launches at the bottom there uh, which is normally you know your flashlight timer calculator and camera you can set up quick launches for specific applications, which is really nice. So you could have it like, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, notes. You could have that set up as your quick launches just by adjusting the settings within, uh, you know, CC toggles. So another must have tweak again, that is called CC toggles. And now last but not least, this is probably my favorite jailbreak tweak of all time, at least for iOS seven. Uh, it is extremely functional and it's a must have. It's called OXO two. So OXO two, as you guys can see, pretty much combines uh, control center and also your multitasking into one, which is extremely handy, uh, you know, just by swiping up from the bottom, you know, bringing open this, you have everything you want right there. Uh, another cool thing about uh, OXO here is if we swipe up from the bottom left, as you can see, if we can do it, 
This is called the Quick Launcher and it allows you to quickly jump between multitasking applications as you guys can see right there, which is another extremely handy feature. And probably my favorite feature of OXO2 is uh, you know, being able to quickly exit an application without even touching your home button. Uh, so I absolutely love this. It takes a little while to get used to, but just swiping up from the bottom right allows you to exit whatever application you are in. And it's extremely quick and handy. And like I said, you don't even have to click your home button, which is which is a really cool feature. Now, obviously within the settings of OXO2, you can disable, you know, uh, the settings of this within certain applications like games or something like that So, you know, you're not you know playing like fruit ninja and you're exiting the game all the time or something like that So uh, extremely useful tweak probably my favorite iOS 7 tweak of all time again That's called OXO 2. So there you have it guys Those are 10 tweaks in which I installed as soon as I was jailbroken These are pretty much my kind of go-to tweaks uh, found within Cydia. Now stay tuned in because I'm going to have another top 10 tweaks video come out within about a day, which is going to be uh, stuff that I've really never used and hopefully things you guys haven't seen. And I'm going to try to go through, you know, uh, a lot of the newer stuff and figure out what I think deserves to be in a top 10 tweak video. So that'll be coming out very shortly. And also in a couple hours, right after I am done uploading this video, I'm going to upload another video uh, and it's going to be how I create uh, custom thumbnails for my YouTube videos and I'm gonna use uh, the thumbnail for this video to give you guys that tutorial so stay tuned in for that it's coming out in just a couple hours after this video uh, so that should be pretty awesome if you guys enjoyed this video definitely throw me a thumbs up that really helps me out a lot here at the channel also be sure to follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook links are down in the description and if you guys want to see more jailbreak tweak uh, videos like this top 10 themes tweaks etc don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.